today we are going to see the topic find nth highest salary from a table in sql this is the most asked questions in many places so it is very important uh, concept or it is very important question and we will see how to get nth highest salary in various ways in this uh, session find find nth salary uh, for this we create first a table create table employee in e number int name where care 50 job where care 50 salary int uh, we we take salary int here instead of decimal for easy easiness we take here salary as int so we create the table so query executed successfully now we insert the values insert into employee value one jack salesman now one 1600 insert into employee value two martin analyst 800 insert into employee values three mike manager 5000 insert into employee values four um, james manager 3000 insert into employee values by Mary salesman 1600 or 1600 so we take this maximum salary then this second mag second highest salary and this third highest salary and this is the last salary so we insert these five records into the table if we check here select star from employee then we get um, six one huh. this is the table records enter successfully now if select salary from employee order by salary descending now if we see here now we can get highest salary 5000 then second highest salary 3000 then 1600 or 1600 1600 and 800 this is double so we if there is double salary then we use this thing here we use distinct distinct now we get 5000 3000 5000 3000 one uh, 1600 then or 1600 then 800 so this is first highest salary this is the second highest salary then third highest salary and this is the last salary oh we want first highest salary if we want first highest salary in the table oh select select star from employee e1 where 0 so we treat this table select star from employee this is the table this is e employee table and this table consider as a e1 one table and e2 another table so first e1 uh, there is comparison between th these two tables like self join we are comparing this table 
to itself. So we use alias E1 where 0. We want highest salary. Highest salary that is 5000. 5000 is the highest salary. So here select out distinct salary from employee e2 where e2 dot salary greater than e1 dot salary if we execute this query here we get 5000 which is maximum salary here we get 5000 5000 is the maximum salary so this is the maximum salary so oh, this query is, what is the this is query means select count distinct salary from employee e2 where e2 dot salary greater than e1 that salary hence we have to find salary of e1 table e1 table we consider the same table as e1 and this table we have considered that this table as e1 table and e2 table so if there is e1 table so we we want the salary of e1 table where e2 where e2 table e2 table salary is greater than e1 salary so here select start from e1 where 0 where 0 is equal to select count distinct salary from employee e2 where e2 dot salary in greater than e1 dot salary so we have to find the salary e1 e1 dot salary or salary from e1 table which is greater which is less than which is less than salary of e2 table and here what is the salary zero means nothing so nothing nothing here e2 salary is nothing e2 salary is nothing so there is no any salary so directly we get the salary from e1 table which is maximum which is 5000 so there is nothing the salary greater which is nothing nothing salary nothing greater uh, no salary so e1 e2 table here e2 table salary is nothing so we directly get e1 dot salary which is 5000 so nothing is greater than 5000 no any salary is greater than 5000 5000 is itself greater than or highest salary so here zero if we want first salary first salary of table then we give zero here if we want second salary then we give here one but if we this is nth highest salary this is first highest salary first highest 
salary. Now, if we want second higher salary, which is three thousand. Or second highest salary we give here one one if we execute the query then we get three thousand which is second highest salary so if we want second high salary then we give here one one if we want first high salary we give zero so always this must be minus than one means two minus one we get one here so give here one so this query says that select count testing from employee e2 where e2 uh, retreated salary greater than e1 salary so e2 salary one salary so e2 one dot salary means one this is the e2's e2's highest salary consider as 5000 so this is the table So E2's highest salary consider as 5000 because there is one salary now in E2 table. In E2 for E2 table, there is one highest salary. And for E2 table, the highest salary is now 5000. In previous query, there is no salary for E2 table. There is no salary because there is mention we zero. But we now we have one salary for E2 table. So this is the salary for E2 table, once highest salary. Now highest salary of E2 table is 5000. And we want, this is the query that says that, uh, well, this is query which says E2 salary greater than an E1 salary. Or with this we can say that we want less salary for E1 table means 5000 this is the one salary of e2 table so we want less salary than e2 table so e1 salary must be less than this salary so now there is salary of e2 table is 5000 and this is the one salary only one salary so one salary of highest salary is 5000 for e2 table and we want less salary than that so this is the less salary than 5000 so we get here so e2 salary is 5000 which is greater than e1 salary so or in other words we can say that e1 salary less than so 5000 is the E2 salary and less than we get the less salary than 5000 with this query. So select star from we get the result 3000. If we want third highest salary. If we give query here. We go query here. We copy this query. Now we get second highest salary. We want third highest salary. Third highest salary is one thousand six hundred or sixteen hundred. So we want third salary. So we give here two. And there is the now there is there are two salaries higher salaries in E2 table. So these are the salaries. First we execute this query. 
now we get 1600 1000 and we also get the for for which employee we get the salary how oh, if we hey there there is two salary in e2 table so now for e2 table it is considered that there are two higher salaries in e2 table these two salar higher salaries in e2 table and we want less salary than this salary for, for, for e1 table This query says that there are two salaries now. There are two salaries for E2 table. Two higher salaries for E2 table and we want less salary than that salaries so for E1 table. So this is the two salaries, two higher salary and we want less salary than than that e, e2 so it's good we get the result if we want for salary we have taken fourth we have taken only five records so five records and we have taken one record duplicate so till here we get the salary so if you execute this here so here uh, if we execute this query this is the fourth highest salary so here this is the fourth highest salary and we get fourth highest salary now if we execute this query we get the fourth highest salary 800 this is the last salary and we get the four highest salary so this says that three salaries now e2 table have three salaries three higher salaries in e2 table and we want less salary than th those three through three salaries so now e2 table is considering one two three these three salaries for e2 table and we want less salary than that uh, for e1 table uh, or we can say that we we omit these three salaries and we uh, re, uh, so for e, e1 table we can say that we must omit these three salaries and in uh, um, by, uh, now we consider the highest salary for e2 e1 table with uh, omitting these salaries without considering this salary which is the highest salary this is 8800 so this is the meaning of this query so, so this is the highest salary for even table now omit these three salaries and this is the highest salary for even table so like this we get the answer 800 so like this we can get any salary 4th salary 5th salary 7th salary 8th salary 9th 10th any 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 higher salary so nth higher salary 
we can get with this query. Second highest salary. Select salary from employee order by salary descend descending. So if we execute this query, we get result five thousand, three thousand, six one thousand six hundred, one thousand six hundred, eight hundred. So this is duplicate or the uh, more than one time. So you we use distinct here distinct salary so here 5000 3000 5000 is the maximum salary 3000 then second highest then uh, 1600 uh, or 1600 and then 800 now if we want max salary so select max salary from employee here maximum salary is 5000 now we want second highest salary so select max salary this here second we use second highest salary with not in Now select max salary from EMP. So this is the maximum salary. This is maximum salary and we want but we want second highest salary. Now we want salary other than this salary maximum salary other than this salary means we want maximum salary other than 5000 this is so we will get result 3000 select max salary from employee where salary not in not in this is the 5000 but we want salary uh, which is not in 5000 uh, or which is other than 5000 maximum salary other than 5000 if we execute this query now we get 3000 in this way we get second highest salary 3000 this is also question many times uh, how to get second highest salary query uh, it is a question to um, give the query for a second highest salary in this case this is the query or another query there may be another query uh, 
if we do same query but salary less than select max salary less salary than max salary max maximum salary is 5000 and less salary less maximum salary is 3000 so if we execute this query we get also 3000 so this is the also query it is with less than operator second higher salary with less than in this way we can get uh, second highest salary nth highest salary by top method so select distinct salary here 5000 3000 uh, 1600 or 1600 and 800 so, so we take this sentence select distinct select distinct salary from employee order by salary descending and we Now, instead of this, we use top. If we execute this, we will get top top one salary five thousand. Top two salaries five thousand and three thousand. Top three salaries five thousand three thousand six hundred. One thousand six hundred. Top five salary four salaries five thousand three thousand one thousand six hundred eight hundred. Top five salary. this only so here now we first give here zero then select Select max salary from employee salary from employee where salary not in So if we execute this we will get 5000 <coughs> we execute if we execute this we will get 3000 select max salary from employee where salary not in so if we execute this when there is one at that time here salary is 5000 but when so salary 5000 
max salary is top one salary is 5000 so max salary where salary not in so this omit this will omit and another salary max salary will get like this if we see here top two salary If we see here, top two, three, and five thousand and three thousand. So five thousand and three thousand. So five after five thousand, there is highest salary is one thousand six hundred. So if we execute this, so this two will omit. So result will get highest salary by omitting these two what is the result then it will get now when we see here three here five thousand three thousand one thousand six hundred and the salary higher this will get omitted and the remaining maximum salary will get so here we will get 800 so like this if we want detail of that so select from employee we get only here salary but we want details so where salary is equal to Incorrect syntax near keyword select. Oh. We get 800. So if we want highest salary, first highest salary, in that case we must give here zero. So there will be no salary, other salary. Uh, so no salary and we will get highest salary exactly highest salary 5000 like that we we use here now 6 here we can give 1 then 2 then 3 first highest salary then now here second third fourth here second highest salary second second here third so if we want second then here must be one if we want third the here must be uh, two if we want fourth highest salary it must be four uh, three it must be three here so here will be three if we 
here if there is no distinct then so here fourth has salary 800 so if we give here fifth has salary try to find fifth has salary there is no salary but if we here I mean here it will give 800 for this purpose we we add one record here we add here one record six record king analysis analyst and here 600 we add one record here if we try to here fifth highest salary here we get an exact our accurate query is with distinct 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 here distinct our query contains always distinct but if we compare this result we get here 600 and we get here 8 800 so what what is the problem here what is the exact problem here so for, when we try to get fifth salary select distinct here so if we try to get fifth salary higher salary it is 600 actually it is 600 actually but when we you with distinct it is get properly but with without distinct it is get 100 it is get 800 with distinct it is get proper salary so fifth salary highest salary is 600 so with distinct we get 600 but with uh, with without distinct we get 800 here because when we don't we never use distinct in this condition in this condition here here if we never use distinct in this condition 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 800 will be fifth highest salary in this condition if we get a distinct then 600 will be so here distinct is always important in the query to get proper result so here there is distinct is always compulsory or it will give another result if there are some duplicate records or uh, salary duplicate means uh, same salary in this condition there is same salary so it will consider another record or another salary so distinct is always necessary so here distinct is compulsory 600 here select select now uh, so this is the fifth highest salary one two three four 
fifth highest salary so in this way we can uh, get nth uh, salary in with various methods so it is uh, there are many queries today so that's all for nth salary thank you